Welcome back to English with Johnny. Today we're going to be tackling part one of the speaking test again. In particular, we're going to be looking at those random topics which may catch you off guard unless you're fully prepared. So, without further ado, today's topic is fish. So, a typical question in this topic will go something like this. Why do people go fishing? Well, I think one of the main lures of fishing is just having the chance to sit back and enjoy nature. Few things are more enjoyable than sitting by a lake or river, just breathing in the fresh air and waiting for the next big catch. For me, the most attractive part of fishing is that feeling of success. What I mean by that is you could be waiting for hours on hours until something finally snags on your fishing rod. Um, so you're in a constant state of anticipation, which all builds up to that moment when you finally have a chance to catch that fish. For a lot of people in Vietnam, it's their livelihood. It's a way for them to provide for themselves and their families. Um, in fact, you can find a lot of fishing boats situated all along the coast of Vietnam, which people live on 24-7 just catching fish to sell and make some money. Personally, for me, I find that fishing is a great way to escape the hustle and bustle of everyday life. It's a chance to disconnect from social media and technology and just enjoy the peaceful, quiet serenity of the natural world around us. So the next question will be, do you like eating fish? Well, of course, Vietnam is well known for having some of the freshest and most flavoursome seafood in the whole world, and I can attest to that myself. Personally, although I don't mind the taste of seafood, um, I do find the smell a bit too overwhelming for me, and as such, that really puts me off. Actually, I'm a huge fan of seafood, um, but it does need to be cooked. Um, there's just something about raw fish that I find absolutely repulsive. Um, I don't know for sure, maybe it's the texture or the sliminess. Whatever it is, it's just not my cup of tea. Well, I absolutely love seafood. But unfortunately, seafood doesn't love me. Um, I find that most of the fish in Vietnam is full of these little bones that get stuck between your teeth and in your gums and they cause me quite a bit of discomfort. So because of that, I do find eating fish a real challenge here. So the last question will be, where can you see fish? Well, interestingly, most lakes in Vietnam are filled to the brim with different species of fish. If you go there with some fish food, it's absolutely amazing to pour some in and watch a boatload of fish swim to the surface and try to grab some. Well, most Vietnamese people strongly believe in feng shui, so it's very common for them to have a fish tank in their living room or another part of their house. Um, they consider it to be the master key to success and harmony. Well, in my hometown, there's not too many places to go and have a look at some fish. In fact, I only really see them in seafood restaurants. Um, they have these tanks filled with lots of different species of fish and shellfish, which customers can pick out for their dinner. Um, and actually, most of the big supermarkets here, like Big C, also have these tanks. So if you're just going to do your shopping, you can wander by the tanks and see lots of different interesting sea creatures. And um, that's the end of the video, guys. Um, hopefully you managed to pick something up. Remember, if you liked the video, please subscribe. And if you have any recommendations, please put them in the comments. Um, I'll take them very seriously and try to make a video for you if possible. So keep practicing until next time.